Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to raise a question. What was the secret side deal on Ukraine? House Democrats and President Biden have said that as Speaker McCarthy was asking Republicans to vote for a continuing resolution so as to avoid having to take the Senate's plus up in Ukraine money, that the Speaker of the House was actually cutting a side deal to bring Ukraine legislation to this floor with President Biden and House Democrats. So let me get this straight. To extend Joe Biden's spending and Joe Biden's policy priorities, the Speaker of the House gave away to Joe Biden the money for Ukraine that Joe Biden wanted. It is going to be difficult for my Republican friends to keep calling President Biden feeble while he continues to take Speaker McCarthy's lunch money in every negotiation. The Speaker of the House has responded to these reports of a secret side deal on money for Ukraine, opaquely stating that he still wants to fund Ukraine and our border. I have a few replies to this statement. First, the Speaker's statement confirms the existence of a secret deal. And I've talked to members of our own leadership who have said they didn't even know that Speaker McCarthy was negotiating a secret side deal outside of our conference, outside of his own leadership team, for the sake of Ukraine. Second, Ukraine has lost the support of a majority of the majority. The last time there was a freestanding Ukraine vote on this floor, it was last week. 101 Republicans voted for it. 117 Republicans voted against it. According to the Hastert rule, which Speaker McCarthy agreed to in January, you cannot use Democrats to roll a majority of the majority, certainly on something as consequential as Ukraine. So for all the crocodile tears about what may happen later this week about a motion to vacate, working with the Democrats is a yellow brick road that has been paved by Speaker McCarthy whether it was the debt limit deal, the CR, or now the secret deal on Ukraine. For, or third, this is swampy log rolling. The American people deserve single subject bills. I get that a lot of folks might disagree with my perspectives on the border or on Ukraine, but can we at least agree that no matter how you feel about Ukraine or the southern border, they each deserve the dignity of their own consideration and should not be rolled together where they might pass where each individually wouldn't? This is what we're trying to get away from. This is the spirit of the January agreement we made with the Speaker. No more lashing these disparate issues together so that the American people's interests are subjugated here on the floor of the House. You know how we should stand up for our border? Demand that the United States, States Senate take up our single subject appropriation bill that funded the border. It created Republican unity. We voted for it. It has the policy demands that the continuing resolution that Speaker McCarthy advocated for on this floor did not. Our DHS funding bill requires you verify. And then hours later, after we passed that, the Speaker wanted us to vote for a continuing resolution that didn't include E-Verify. Retreat is never a strategy to win anything. So, Mr. Speaker, just tell us, just tell us, what was in the secret Ukraine side deal? What commitments were made to, pre to President Biden to continue the spending of President Biden in exchange for doing things for President Biden? It is becoming increasingly clear who the Speaker of the House already works for, and it's not the Republican conference. Mr. Speaker, I would ask that these questions be answered soon because there may be other votes coming today or later this week that could, could be implicated by the answers to these questions. Members of the Republican Party might vote differently on a motion to vacate if they heard what the Speaker had to share with us about his secret side deal with Joe Biden on Ukraine. I'll be listening. Stay tuned. And I yield back. The gentleman yields back. Now, members are reminded to refrain from engaging in personalities towards the President and to direct their remarks to the chair.